Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to Halal Clicks. In this video, we're going to talk about the Kindle Fire HD 7 in detail. Right here, we have this brilliant 1280 x uh, 800 uh, pixel display. Uh, it supports HD 720p resolution, meaning it can play back 720p videos easily. It has a 1 GB of RAM, a dual core processor. You have a, it has a uh, front facing camera right here. It's got uh, BGN wireless and Bluetooth and all of that stuff. So let's just check it out. So first thing first, we're going to go to um, uh, read something. We're going to read, of course, the Quran and see how the reading experience is in this device. So right away, you can see it is uh, more fluid than uh, a Nook. So I'm going to just go ahead. There's no pinch to zoom here, but it could change the settings um, like this. And make it bigger and more bigger uh, as much as you need so reading is a really pleasure uh, for the eyes so I mean it may not be that clear on the video but uh, I'm looking at it directly and it's very sharp and clear so that's reading let's go to um, and these are your again uh, uh, this strip has uh, access to your like all the apps and gateways uh, let's go to shop and this is the central hub of every mar on the whole marketplace. You could go to the books, music, videos, newsstand apps, and all this. We're going to go to apps uh, quickly, and then we're going to go to um, the games. So you have your bestsellers. This is a uh, Amazon marketplace. is kind of big, so you'll have your free apps every now and then. And Amazon also has a free app a day program, I think, uh, that they give out. So a lot of apps are also free. Let's go to games from here directly. And uh, if you want to download something, you just have to tap on it. And I'm looking at this display right here, although it's not the highest resolution display, but it's, it's really um, sharp. The blacks are really black and they are just uh, lighting up. The colors are very, very crisp. Um, so just click on this, tap on this. You know, and if you have your account hooked up with this, just click on get app and it's purchasing right there and it's going to be on your home screen soon let's get out of this uh, if i go to games it will just still bring you to the same place uh, so now in the games it has cloud or device so in my device i have two games and on the cloud i have one that's being delivered to my uh, this device and then we could go to a, a store from here at one, one click um, then we have again all those different types of uh, i guess the shopping channels you could go to the library and here you'll have uh, the games library and then we'll go back to stores let's just get out the stores here get out and go back to the shop one more time um if you have amazon prime you could see videos movies like twenty-five thousand or so of them are free uh you could stream all of them live just like netflix so this is another alternative to netflix and youtube depending on the speed it's kind of slow i don't know why it's slow right now but we won't try again. All right, let's get out of that. And uh, if you want, uh, because books is Amazon's, uh, I guess that was the main reason Amazon introduced uh, Kindle to begin with. Let's check out the book library. You have your monthly deals under four dollars, and then Kindle Select, twenty-five bestsellers, best books of the year, thirty Kindle books under what well, this is under a dollar or five dollars or something. Let's get out of that. So you have your apps, books, music, videos. Check out the videos. Lots of these videos are like zero dollar for Prime members. So if you have Prime, it's gonna show up here that uh, with this Prime tag. So uh, watching like you know this movie is free. All of these movies will be free. So let's check look at uh, Rango a little bit. This is a really uh, nice movie. Just so gonna watch the trailer. Uh, you guys can see the quality of it. Maybe a little bit, but not too much in detail. There's an HD button right here. If you um, I did find it a little bit uh, non-responsive when it came to playing in HD. I think this HD just uh, goes on by itself. So right now it's not on HD. So I don't know how to get to the HD screen from here. It's not on HD. Let's get out of this. Let's do some browser test. Check out pins and zoom and all of that. Let's go to um, Kindle's birthplace. Amazon, actually Amazon, 
dot com. So that's a suggestion uh, on the screen address bar. That's pretty cool. Web browser is kind of slow today. Uh, that's why it's not loading up really fluidly. So pins and zoom is very responsive. So and I like this. Uh, it's very close to, if not uh, same as uh, iPads. That's kind of like the industry standard. So pinch to zoom works, and um, uh, the viewing experience is just amazing. So uh, there's no not much delay. Uh, it renders pretty quick. Maybe not as fast as iPad, but it's pretty quick. Let's go to um, Salah. Having difficulty typing, maybe the because the keyboard is a bit, the keys are kind of little. Yeah, I'm having difficulty typing. I'm typing L, it's showing up K. Maybe I was typing K. Salatumatic.com. Responsive, works. Opening a new tab is very easy. You go to a tab right here, just click on a tab. So, browsing experience is really fluid and fast. I think this is the Amazon's uh, Silk browser, cloud based browser. Again, the website is kind of slow today. Let's open up another tab. Let's go to somewhere else. Let's see Quran.com. Again, typing is a bit difficult, so I'll give it a negative here because the keys are kind of very small. So touches are really nice. Um, so these are images of the actual Quranic text, but if I click on with the skill, then this is the actual uh, Arabic. So that's kind of distorted. Yeah, this text is distorted. It's not uh, uh, displaying properly. So there's a problem with the Arabic display. And let's check out our own site. See how that displays here. Halal clicks. During the time of this video, I'm still making that website. And it's not even going to the site. Wow. Again, L and K's are getting mixed up. Again, L and K for the third or fourth time. If I, that's L. See, you guys see that's an L, right there. And uh, right now it's, yeah. Typing is very difficult. I'll probably give it like two out of ten for typing. And believe me, I can type. So the site is loading up properly. That's cool. Um, rendering and all of that is fine. So that's our little browser test. Uh, browser experience is fine. But uh, pins and zooming is also fine. Keyboard it has a problem. Keys are very tiny. So I had some problems with that. So let's go to settings a little bit. So this is your notification panel on top right. I guess you could just pull it down anywhere. You have your unlock status, unlock meaning rotational unlocking, volume, brightness, wireless, on and off, and all of that kind of stuff. Let's go back. As you can see, it is very responsive. So I really like that feature. See, so go to all settings, help and feedback, and the blacks are very black, and the whites are whites, and this color is just awesome. It's better than uh, uh, iPad mini. The color here is contrast is better than iPad mini. Applications, notification settings of applications. Oh, so this is cool. So you could turn on and off of each notification, uh, each application separately, individually. So that is very cool. It's like iPad, iOS has this. Uh, install applications. These are the installed application that you install. You can click on that. You could stop it and that kind of stuff. Sync Amazon content. I don't want to do that. Amazon Game Circle. That's something. Uh, I guess that's similar to your Game Center, uh, uh, like on your iOS. Skip that. Home rec recommendations. Show or hide. Based on your searching habits, Amazon's going to recommend you stuff. Audiobooks, if you have downloaded any, purchased any, all of that, download from a standard or high. Apps. App settings. Gift card. I don't have any gift card in app purchasing enabled. Automatic updates enabled. So these are uh, automatic updates enabled. That is a very powerful uh, tool. Like uh, on iOS, we don't have that. In iOS, uh, you got to uh, update it manually. So that's very annoying. Android has this. So this is very cool. You don't have to bother with updates ever again. Email contacts calendar. If you want to uh, create, uh, set up a new email account, you got to do it through here, add account, and just go down the list. So that's pretty cool and simple and plain. 
and uh, it's kind of annoying this thing like if I'm on audiobooks and I go back it goes to the application settings top it doesn't remember the last location maybe Amazon should improve that silk browser request website view automatic search engine Bing oh, okay so that's what they did so they're not they don't really like Amazon it seems uh, they don't really like Google so I'm gonna set it to Google block pop windows as accelerate accelerate page loading yes and all sorts of browser related stuff is here remember password forget cookies lastly videos high quality best up to 1080p when available better up to so when you're viewing a video it should uh, display the highest available video uh, or it should ask when downloading so i'm going to leave it at the best version of it hd sd quality all of that stuff so that's the settings let's get out of this place let's have a little fun with games actually before the games i want to show you guys how email looks like on uh, um kindle so that's my test email to myself hints to zoom doesn't work here oh, okay it does it doesn't really work that's a subject so this is the content the content you see how sharp this is the texts are just brilliant uh, i think i've seen in some video on amazon that they really engineered and fine-tuned every single font they have for kindle so uh, and now it's making sense why it's so sharp it's sharper than ipads uh this thing is a little bit distorted i think yeah you see the bangla text i guess if you don't know bangla it's not going to really matter to you but it's a dis different language is distorted just like arabic was distorted get out of email you jump into game it is in uh, portrait mode this is uh what else but uh temple run been playing this game on every device that I've done videos. I guess this is a free app across iOS and Android. I'm looking for the uh, volume controller. It's very difficult because they are embossed. Okay, no thanks. I'm not gonna get that. Just play the old version of it. So this is the first version of the game. It's not very high quality. That's not due to it's not Kindle's fault. The game, the first game, wasn't very high resolution to begin with. Nevertheless, the game experience is fun. I'm just gonna get out of this. You can hit pause, and uh, there's no home button. So lack of home button, um, we just have to use this. Uh, there's this notification bar right here, tiny. Just pull that up, go home. Let's play this one. I think this is Subway Surfer. I think this is more of uh, optimized for the Kindle. Tap to play. The reason I picked these uh, runner games is because in runner games, the environment is changing. And so video is really getting its, uh, I guess, rendering done. So there's no choppiness, colors are really really sharp and vibrant and you just, I guess, get lost into the content. Alright, so let's get out of this place. So we're gonna just try to play this uh, YouTube video and also check out the sound in the uh, the same time. So YouTube doesn't, and, uh, I didn't download the YouTube app, I don't know if there's an app for this yet. Uh, there's the HQ button, just play that. All right, so this uh, is better, uh, uh, even uh, the YouTube experience better here than iPad because as soon as I clicked on a clip, it just went full screen by def default. So that is very nice. Um, full sound. What's up? So hands down, I, this is the, the most awesome sound uh, sounding tablet that I've ever used. I've used a lot of them. So sound, it gets 11 out of 10. It's really loud. It's louder than my uh, MacBook, louder than all my tablets that I have. Um, 
so and the sound is a really big plus so what do i think my final uh I guess thoughts about this tablet is that this may be one of the best tablets out there currently. It would be the very best tablet for you um, if it didn't have that problem with the uh, language distortion. I've seen there's language distortion distortion with Arabic fonts, but other than that, fluidity was really nice. Um, another, um, uh, I guess, a negative thing about this is there's no rear camera. Uh, uh, it would be better if it had a rear camera. Speakers is really perfect, really nice. Uh, so language selection is a problem. Keyboards keys are tiny. You know that I've I've made like five mistakes or seven mistakes during this video, and I haven't made this many mistakes in any other tablets or even iPhones or any phones that I used. So um, in short, maybe we'll get a ten, eight out of ten kind of uh, rating from our site. Uh, but I really like the fluidity, big color, and all of that. Everything is just uh, cool except minus those two three things that I mentioned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum.